So I've shown you guys how to get some egg gap pressure, I've shown you guys how to get some outside pressure. Now I want to show you how to disguise your coverage from the 3 4 under. Now, um, remember, we're coming out to play flips, so you may be saying to yourself, well, how are we going to disguise the coverage? Because you can't flip your plays in your audibles. Well, that is true. Well, let's see how we get around that. What we're going to do is we're going to man a line and call bump, and we're going to formation audible to blitz. Many people don't know is when you formation audible, your, uh, your alignment doesn't change. It doesn't matter if you flip the play or not. It's going to work just the same. So that's kind of a little secret most people don't know is that you can actually get away with uh, using the formation audible just, just fine. Uh, and um, now when, you're custom, when you use custom audibles, you can't do that. Uh, the custom audibles will flip since you can't flip them at, uh, in the audible screen. But formation audibles, it doesn't matter if you flip the play or not. I mean, it will just, stay, it will just adjust to whatever you do coming out of the huddle. Anyway, uh, we're going to formation audible, blitz formation audible. Stacker uh, blitz in the middle linebacker right about here and we blitz him. We're going to re blitz uh, the DT, contain the middle linebacker, and stack him over to the DT. Now, uh, now, the reason why we do that is the middle linebacker is guarding the running back. Sometimes um, the middle linebacker will be guarding the receiver, and when that happens, we would just blitz down the linebacker on the left and man up the strong safety or the free safety in the deep zone on whoever he was guarding, and then user the player who was guarding the running back. Because we're going to leave the running back unguarded, and uh, I mean, we'll go mainly watch him ourselves if we feel the need to. So say, I mean, I mean just, to, just for, you know, this example, we go hit the flats since we know he's hitting the flats, but I mean, you'd have to react to that after the play in a real game. But anyway, the key here is, you know, Cam out of the zone, so the offense immediately is going to read zone because they're in a uh, tight set, but we use man line and then we audible. And since we did the formation audible, even though the play flipped, everything is the same. So it's kind of the same concept that we showed, or similar. It's similar to what we showed in the mailbag this past weekend, but not exactly the same because we're dealing with flip formations here, so it makes it a little more complicated. But anyway, let's look at how the blitz works. Um, you see the guy comes right up the middle and basically sacks us immediately. Now, if you're using the 3-4 under out of uh, something other than multiple, a lot of the 3-4 base books have the uh, blitz formation audible from 3-4 under as uh, the pinch play. So if the pinch play, you don't really even have to do anything other than stack the uh, linebacker in the gap, in the right A gap, and blitz him down. Uh, but if you're using it out of multiple, you have to use these steps I showed you because uh, the outside backer on the left is not already blitzing. So sometimes he comes up, I don't know what it is with this play, sometimes he comes up the A gap, sometimes he comes up in the B gap. It's really just the way you place him, you know, I don't really, you know, it, I'd prefer the A gap, but I mean, if a fast linebacker, I mean, A and B gap, he are both really good. I mean, coming up the gap, sacking him pretty, pretty easily. Now, the thing about this play is um, really just, a confu just confusing uh, the offense is really what I like about it more than anything. Notice how we get that delayed bump uh, by the outside linebackers. Now you can't you can't bump the C route first of all. So we kind of we we tried to the cornerback tried to, but you can't you just can't delay bump that route. And also you can't delay bump a receiver that's running a drag route off the line of scrimmage. But the guys who can, since we call bump and run and man in line before we audible, we will get that. Now if you don't want to get the delayed bump, then simply just don't call bump before you audible like I did. And uh, that's basically how you can disguise uh, your coverage when using flipped formations. And it's a very effective tool that not many people at all know about because of the problem you have with the play call screen without being able to flip your actual custom audibles. However, you can get around that using the formation audibles. So, you know, add that, you know, piece of knowledge into your mindset. And, um, I mean, that actually can be applied to any formation, the formation audible bit of this tip. The play itself is specific to 3 for under, but uh, we'll see you all next week.